Women's professional soccer could soon have a home right here in Canada. National team captain Christine Sinclair and former teammate Diana Matheson are part of a group planning to launch a league in 2025, starting with eight teams. The talent pool is deep, with about 100 Canadians already playing professionally in Europe and the U.S. With me now is Diana Matheson, CEO of Project 8. She's a former Canadian soccer player and two-time Olympic bronze medalist. Diana, good morning. So glad you could be with us. Hi, thanks for having me. So let's talk about the creation of this league and what went yeah. into putting it together. Well, I, I myself retired about 18 months ago, and I knew when I retired I wanted to stay involved in building the professional game. Uh, I've been back in school uh, doing an executive MBA and a master through UEFA, and then about six months ago, I uh, found my business partner, Thomas Gilbert, and we've been hard at work behind the scenes for six months, building the plans, finding our first two teams, first two sponsors, and then we thought it was time to share the news with Canada. This is amazing. Congratulations on all of your efforts. So. Can you put into perspective how significant this announcement is for the future of women in soccer and sports? Yeah, I think for soccer, it's it's the next step. It needs to happen. We're behind the rest of the world on this front. The women's game has really shifted away from the national teams being the main development path to the professional game. And the truth is the rest of the world is ahead of us here. So for Canadian soccer, for securing the future there, this is everything. This is the next step. It's also just huge for sport in Canada. I think we're exceptionally good at women's sport and we know women's professional sport is coming uh, and we're starting with soccer here and I think this is just the beginning for Canada. What about the talent pool? <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got the talent, uh, period. We know that. We have the third largest player pool in the world for girls and women. There's 110 Canadian women playing professionally abroad right now in Europe, in the United States. So the target is bring half of them home have at least one Canadian women's national team player per team. And we're looking at having seven international players allowed per team as well. So there'll be international stars here to watch. Um, can you talk to us, Diana, of course, with the backdrop of uh, Qatar, about the interest right now in soccer? Do you think that Canadians are really having their eyes open to this sport, perhaps in a way they haven't before? Yeah, Canada is new to the to the party a little bit in terms of soccer being the, a global game, being the world's most popular game. And I think the women's national team absolutely put soccer on the map here first. And then the men's national team making this World Cup, I think, has, has increased the interest even more. John Herdman and his team have been incredible. The buzz around Canada, I think, coast to coast in this World Cup has been amazing. And obviously... FIFA 2026 is coming to North America, mm -hmm. 10 games in Canada. Yep. And I think, you know, with the Canadian women's team continuing to succeed, a Women's World Cup is next year, FIFA 2026 around the corner and this Women's Pro League, the game is only going to get bigger and bigger in this country. And I feel like it's not going to be long before people say, why didn't we have a team already, Diana? Yeah, I think, you know what? No one's tried yet. Uh, and I think that's the answer at the end of the day. And it's we've been saying it with this launch, it's time. There's never been a better time to do this, and there never will be. Uh, we get to build this league now from scratch, built for women by women, and it's, it's the time. Uh, Corporate Canada is behind this. CIBC and Air Canada have joined us first to launch this league. Vancouver Whitecaps and Calgary are our first two teams. And now we're going to spend the next six months finding our, our right six other owners and six markets across Canada. So the time is now. Diana Matheson, thank you so much. Again, it's so exciting. CEO of Project 8. Uh, Diana is, of course, a former Canadian soccer player and a two-time Olympic bronze medalist.